So in the previous video, we've looked at reducing an equation to linear form. And I've explained some of the process that's going on behind this. So let's say I've got y is equal to ax to the n. We know that a and n are constants. x and y are variables. And I've reduced it to log y is equal to n log x plus log a. So that's the process that we went through in the previous video. So now, let's say that I've been able to plot my points. And what's happened is that I can now draw a nice straight line that goes through the points. It goes through 0.2 on the log y axis. And it also goes through the point 1.5, 0.9. And what I want to do is I want to work out the equation of this line and compare it to this one here. So first thing to do is to work out what the gradient is. So the gradient m is the difference in y divided by the difference in x. So 0.9 divided by 0.2, or sorry, 0.9 take away 0.2 is 0.7. And then 1.5 take away 0, just 1.5. So in other words, this is 7 over 15. So that's the gradient of this line. So what I can say is that y is equal to 7 fifteenths x plus the y-intercept 0.2. Now if I compare this equation with this equation, then that must mean that the n must be 7 over 15 and the log a must be 0.2. So, if n is 7 over 15 and log a is equal to 0.2, well, remember, this is a logarithmic equation. That's base 10. And I can convert it into an exponential equation where we can write 10 to the 0.2 is equal to a. So, these are the values that I was looking for. n is 7 fifteenths and a is 10 to the 0.2. And so I can put those back into the original equation so that y is equal to a, so 10 to the 0.2, times x to the power of n, 7 fifteenths. And this is the equation of the curve that will fit the original data. So remember, we had that original data. It looked like it was a curve. okay? And this is the equation that will fit that data. okay? And that's how this reduction to linear form can help us.